Hi! This video is going to be about breaking your YouTube channel down into smaller niches. This is also going to be more for the small YouTubers that are just trying to build up a fan base and build up subscribers and get their channels out there to the right people so they could get to that next level. I've been talking about different concerns that you have on a YouTube channel, on this channel. I am starting out just as much as you and I'm going over all the obstacles that I've came across. And what I've come to find out that a lot of things that these YouTubers do are all basically trial and error. And whatever's going to work for me, maybe not work for you, but you have to find where, where you feel more comfortable. But these are just ideas that you can throw out and, and see if you can expand on it or not. They may be easier to film or they may be easier or more comfortable for you to talk about. There's many different types of videos and we'll get to that in other videos, but these are just one of the concerns that we are going to talk about today is do we really have to go down to a smaller niche? Hi, I'm Susie J. Cobwebs. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. This channel is all about starting a YouTube channel, starting a business, and of a writing career with frugal tips and self-care along the way. So I'm glad that you joined me. If you are on the growing of YouTube side of this channel, I actually post a new video every Tuesday, so make sure that you hit that post notification button down at the bottom so you know when I'm going to post the next video. And by the way, why don't you hit that subscribe button and give me a good like too. All the engagements and the comments and the subs people hitting that subscribe button, even with that post notification button, that bell. These are also good tips that are going to help you grow into your YouTube channel. So you want to make sure that you say this each and every time that you post a video. Just because if these happen to be new people that are onto your channel, they can subscribe and they could constantly watch your videos to get your watch time up also. When starting a YouTube channel, there's really no set rule book of what you need or no strategy that you need to do. This is all trial and error. And obviously, it's just subjective. It's what you feel comfortable with. It's what you can film, you can edit, and you can produce out there for your fans. Are you giving out valuable content to your fans? That is the main question that you would want to ask yourself. You see a lot of YouTube videos out there that say, oh, you need to go down to a small niche to get the right audience for your YouTube channel, which I understand that to a point. Let me explain. I feel when you are starting your YouTube channel, you're just getting your feet wet. It takes a lot to understand how, one, the algorithm works, two, how to film, how to be in front of a camera, how to get yourself on a posting schedule and stick to it. There is a lot of things to go into having a YouTube channel that a lot of people don't really talk about. But I decided that I was going to talk about all my concerns or obstacles along the way while I started my YouTube channel so everyone can know that anyone can do this if they put their mind to it. When I say get your feet wet, that means try to make videos when you are structuring the video of how you wanted your video to be on the camera or on YouTube, plan it out on paper or on the computer. Then you would want to film it. 
right? Now, whenever you are talking about the different topics, I would, just as you are getting your feet wet, to getting the fundamentals down so you can do the YouTube channel, so you can get the, the confidence built up, so you can post and make good videos, you want to get these fundamentals down this will take time. You might not get the views quite yet, but as a small YouTuber, we're not going to worry about the analytics quite yet. We are worrying about the fundamentals. We need to learn how to do a lot of this first before we can get out there and get to our right niche that we would like. With that being said, this is not going to be an overnight sensation, by no means. It's going to take time, it's going to take patience, and it's going to take a lot of hard work and dedication. I don't care what anybody else says. That's what it's going to be. And if you want to put your whole heart and soul into this, and you want to make good videos, and you want to be a good YouTuber, and a good YouTube channel, and maybe an entrepreneur, or have some type with with some type of business. You have to start from ground one to get the fundamentals of everything that you want to do. Now, learning the subject of your videos is one thing. What do you want to talk about? Let's just say. You want to feel more confident in your videos when you are getting down to the proper niche that you want to speak about. So, here is what I would do. I would start off with a bigger niche. Like, for example, you actually want to do baking with keto with special needs. This is a very small audience that you want to pertain to. And that's great and that's wonderful. Congratulations if you picked that. But here's what I would do. I would make videos about baking, get the fundamentals down, learn how to plan, film, edit, post, amongst everything else. And then once maybe you have a fan base or a a good fan base and and I'm talking good fan base as maybe a couple hundred, then maybe you could start doing baking with keto. Baking with keto with special needs. Now you can actually narrow down your niche that you would like to do. Then you will actually get the audience that you originally wanted in the first place. And then you have great videos that you could provide for them. Breaking down to a smaller niche too soon may get you a little bit more frustrated than it really needs to be. And honestly, we all need to be frustrated or stressed out on YouTube. This is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to give some entertainment to your world and to our world. What we need to do, learn the fundamentals, and then once you feel more comfortable, then you could start breaking down your niche to the certain topic that you would like, and then you can enjoy making more videos and making more of your audience happy. I hope this helped you out. So if you like these videos and you want to see more of these videos, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the post notification button and I will give you so much more information about how I have gotten this far into our YouTube journey. And to the next time, love you bunches!